Well, you guys, I went to my first yard and it was way too wet. Way too wet. Then here's way too wet, too. This yard here has actually been a month. I contacted them several times during that month. They thought it was dead and didn't want it mowed. Now look at it. All right, so y'all can see it's pretty high. I'm feeling they're all going to be like this today. This is probably going to be one of our worst, though. We're going to get it, get with it, and clean it up. Don't these things look nice? They don't live long, and I think they're just about to go out of their cycle. But man, aren't they big? Well, there it is. James mowed it with the 72. I think it looks pretty good. Well, we just mowed another one before we got here. And now, now we're fixing to mow this one. You can see it's pretty big. Goes all the way over there. This job right here and behind the house. You can tell it's a beautiful green, isn't it? Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and record this one. Uh, we're having to cut them all two or three times because it's so high. This is the weekly yard and it's still very high. But we're gonna go ahead and set it up. See what James can do with this in here with the 72.
Okay, that was a big job, but no big job right now because they're so grown up. And like I say, this is a weekly yard. Uh, if you noticed, I changed Jane from mowing with the 72 and wanted him to go ahead and mow with the 61 right. The reason is when these yards are overgrown like this and the type of grass that we have, uh, this guy here has, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it. Anyways, oh, I can't remember the name of this grass. Anyways, it's the kind that makes like, it's like curls up. And it's kind of a warm weather grass more than anything else. And what happens if you, uh, when this grass gets all high, it looks like it's scalped. Uh, because of it, it only, it's only green on the, just, just on the tippy end and everything I passed about an inch is it turns yellow that's just the way this grass is I can't remember can't remember the name of it anyways most of you guys that mow you know what I'm talking about so I wanted him to go ahead and mow with the uh, 61 right because it's actually got a striper kit on it and the yards with this type of grass they never look good when they're overgrown because they always look scalped but the 61 will do it more justice than the 72. Because the 72, it does not have a striper kit. Now, it does pretty good, like in our fescue. It, it does a real good job in the fescue as far as striping and everything. But this kind of grass, and I can't believe I can't remember what kind of grass it was. Uh, anyways, it's a warm weather grass. I believe the grass is zoysia grass. It kind of has runners and such. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Okay, we're here mowing our next yard. Yeah, I'm finishing this part. And uh, a lot of people think, well, why don't my mower stripe like those commercial mowers? You know, just about every mower will stripe. It depends on uh, if how good you can see the stripes with the time of the day and the position of the sun. Like this one here, I'm going to give you an example. You see this one? You don't see the stripes too good on this side, do you? But now we'll walk on to the other end and turn around and I'll show you the difference. Now it's cloudy right now, but on a normal day where the sun is low in either the east or the west, then you can see the stripes a lot better depending on the, uh, on the angle of the sun and the brightness. I'm not gonna walk all the way up there. But you see here, I turn around. See how the stripes are, they show up a lot better on this end. And you don't need a striper kit for any of it. Every mower I've ever had, stripes. Some better than others. And depends if you do have a striper kit, of course they do do better too. Better get done weed eating. James almost done mowing. Well, it's raining. You see it's raining? It's 2 o'clock or 158. It's 72 degrees and the air conditioner is fixing the truck, so we're freezing. And uh, so the rain's going to be over in about 30 minutes. So me and James decided to come to Taco Bell and have a burrito. And that's what's going on right now. You have anything you want to say? James got nothing to say. Well, good morning, friends. Today is August the 1st. Uh, the day after, well, the video we just shot. We got home yesterday. It was about 5 o'clock. We, after it finished raining, we was able to do four more. And uh, I'm about to go out. Me and Mariah is about to go out today. And uh, we have a really big mowing day. Uh, they're all big mowing days right now because, like I said, it's started raining and, you know, it's just the way it is. Nature of the beast. Hey, but anyways, I wanted to say uh, one thing, too. Um, right Mower sent me a $500 check to get a new mower. A loyalty thing. 
I'm not going to use it because, well, I just don't need a mower right now. I've got plenty. But if any of you guys would like to have this $500 check, let me know, okay? I hate to just see it going away because somebody might need a new mower out there. But anyways, thank you all for tuning in. I love you and God bless. And we'll see what happens today. Now, this video is getting put out this morning, August 1st. But this mowing that we did was actually from the end of July. What was the end of July? 30th? I don't know how many days it was. Anyways, it was yesterday. So, see you guys later. Take care. Thank you for your comments. I really appreciate it. You, you just... I can't express how it makes me feel for people to... Uh, say kind things. It really appreciated. And uh, anytime you have a question or something like that, y'all just let me know. I'd, I'd be glad to answer anything you got to say. And uh, if you ain't got nothing else, say say hey. You know, I like to chat. I love people. So, y'all have a beautiful day.